This is the combo for the Mia Microflight Phantom option. Tools required medium CA glue, CA glue accelerator spray, hobby scissors, nail clippers, X Acto knife, toothpicks, and a small piece of paper or notepads. Preparation of the G10 parts tree for the assembly. All these parts are attached to the parts tree via these bridges. These small bridges that hold each one of these parts using the hobby scissors or the nail clipper. Remove all these parts. Okay, some parts can be removed by twisting them right off from the parts tree as I'm doing it here. Do not attempt to do the same thing with the smaller parts, with the very thin parts, because you risk breaking some of the detail features, such as this bolt-on hole here. So this part right here, we're going to be trimming that with the hobby scissors. And be careful where you trim that, so that you cut that part where it needs to be cut, like so. Now, what I'm doing with these sections here is I'm going to break that off and I'll explain why I'm breaking this off here. When you break that off you leave a little bit of the bridge, a little tab here, pointy tab on this part and this is going to be required for the assembly to the horizontal fin. That part gets inserted into that perforation there, one per side and that's how we attach that part with a little more security We'll do that during the assembly. So continue to remove the parts. Once again, if the parts are thin, use the scissors. This material cuts very easy with a hobby scissors, such as the one that I'm using here. This is, a, I believe, it's a Dubrul. You can also use a Tamaya or similar hobby scissors that are available through your local hobby shop. Once again, I'm going to mirror image the cutting of that part over here. Trim that part nice and clean. And you can just simply break this part off, leaving the little pointy tab or pointy bridge. Continue with the other parts until you're done with all of them. And so, these are all the parts. Let's uh, rearrange them so we can start the assembly. So we'll start with the assembly of these parts, keeping in mind that the painted side is the side that always faces outside and, and the dull side is the side that gets the glue applied to. Now on some of these parts, such as uh, the, the yellow one is painted on one side. Some other parts that we uh, apply paint to um, require the paint be applied to both sides of the, the material because this material in uh, natural form is translucent and some of the colors bleed right through it on, uh, when you apply the paint to one side and some others just don't, don't quite uh, show up as vivid as for instance this yellow. Uh, an example of a color that we apply paint to both sides is the red one. We need to apply paint to both sides so that you get the vivid red on both ends. So in this case you can apply the glue to either either side. But just keep in mind, you know, find the side that's shinier and that's the part that you want to keep it ex exposed to the outside of the assembly. It just looks nicer that way also. So let's go ahead and assemble these parts. Before you assemble this, make sure that that assembly looks exactly the same as you see it here. Now one of the things to keep in mind also is because these parts are slotted, there's a slight give of the base inside these parts. Make sure that that base is pushed all the way against the front of each of these brackets. If these brackets are not aligned properly, you're going to have a skewed 
uh, assembly and so just keep that in mind when assembling this take your time you know, it's not hard uh, just make sure that the uh, base plate is pushed all the way in front of these side brackets for an even square assembly once you get that aligned and you have the rubber bands in place turn over the part and uh, start your gluing process you're gonna need to, the paper piece of paper to uh, to apply some glue to the paper yeah, I find this a little bit easier you can about you can use about three drops of CA glue and use your toothpick to pick up some of that glue and what you want to do is you want to apply a little bit just to just to hold it this is just to tack glue the parts in place now you can probably do this a lot easier than what I'm doing it here because I'm trying to film talk and, and assemble at the same time so it's a little bit uh, challenging but if you do this at home and you take your time you should end up with a, a very nice uh, assembly okay so you can do that with the CA glue now the reason for the CA accelerator spray is that you can speed up this process by taking another toothpick dipping that in the CA, uh, CA accelerator or zip kicker and just run that wet tip of the toothpick along the parts that you just glued that will instantaneously bond the CA glue between the two parts and that'll help uh, speed up the assembly. So that's a, a technique that we've been using here for all these uh, miniature parts that are made from G10 material. And that's the way we assemble these things uh, in, uh, in our own models, in our own uh, prototypes. And uh, we highly recommend that you use the CA glue, this particular CA glue, which is a, a Zap brand. It's a very uh, high quality CA glue for this particular application. And we also use the same brand on the CA accelerator or zip kicker. So continue with that assembly using that process. Um, toothpick, apply the CA glue, and you can add a little more CA glue little by little here until you have a nice clean bead running along the uh, seam of the, of the parts and you can speed up the process as I already mentioned with the CA accelerator uh, the little toothpick dipped in the CA accelerator spray so that's the way that part gets done okay once the parts have been tacked glued run a thin bead of CA glue along the seam here and we're working from underneath the assembly of the frame see a glue there and make sure that you don't you don't touch the glue or areas where you've glued because uh, it can get pretty hairy if you uh, get some glue on your hands while you're doing the assembly take your time this is not hard just follow this technique that we're showing in this video and you'll have uh, uh, the same professional results that we have in assembly these parts uh, once that's done, let that dry completely and we'll do the next part of the assembly.